there was a person that was going in the in the middle of in the main street with an elephant. Someone saw him going with that elephant and he's coming to him and told him, what are you taking that elephant for? Wow, it's not allowed to go with an elephant in the street. He said, no, no, it's not a regular elephant. It's a, it's a very good elephant. It's a, it's a special elephant. I told him, what? You, you can take him, whatever you like? He said, yes, it's a, with license and everything. He's taking my kids to the school and he's cooking and he's making laundry and he's making homework with the kids and he's uh, playing the piano and a lot more things that I cannot mention now. But uh, all right, we're here, so good luck. But then, wait, wait, wait. Where are you going? <laughs> really? All of those things he's doing? He said, it's nothing. I have a list. He uh, can drive an airplane and his mama, she's making clothes and everything. He's talking 70 languages, amazing, working at night in the computer, something huge, awesome elephant. But listen, I want to buy your elephant. Told him, no, no, I'm not selling. Told him, no, no, listen, I'm talking a lot of money. I want to buy your elephant. Told him, no, I'm sorry. And not lack of money, Baruch Hashem, everything is good. We're not selling. Said, listen, $20,000, now cash. Said, no, I'm not selling, sorry. Said, 50. $50,000, he said, listen, my friend, I'm not selling this elephant, he's not, not for sale. Listen, half million dollars for that elephant, I'm bringing you the cash now. Saying, listen, you're forcing me, I don't know what to do, I don't want to sell that elephant. He told you, he told him, listen, $500,000 and this is it. Not one penny more. He told her, all right, if you're so stubborn, let's make a contract. I see that you like that elephant, I'm gonna sell it to you. Because you're a good, nice guy, you're a good person. <laughs> All right, signed, gave him the money, took that elephant. After one week, he sees him in the street, he's shouting at him, you're a liar, you cheat me. I told him, what, you haven't done nothing? I told him, no, you're a liar. You told me that the elephant he's doing, he's talking 70 languages and he's cooking, taking the kids, he's not doing nothing. I told him, listen, if you continue talking like that, you're never going to sell him. <laughs> <laughs> this is Yetzirah. <laughs> ben is saying, the Yetzirah is running to the center of the city, and he's holding his hands close, and he's saying to everyone, look what I've got, look what I've got. And everyone imagine that he's got what they need. One thing that he's got a shidduch in his hand, one thing that he's got a, key, a car key in his hand, one thing that he's got money in his hand. Everyone thinks that he hold what they need. And they're all running after him and he's running out from the city. And after a long, far distance, when everyone feels tired and they don't have power, he's opening his hand, there is nothing. And then they don't even have power to go back to the place that they started. This is Yetzirah, he's just cheating and lying and lying and lying. The only truth that there is, is that there is Bore Olam. And that Bore Olam is not far from us. He's with us just now, here, with us, 100%. We don't need to do nothing that Bore Olam is going to be with us. You want to build your relationship with Bore Olam? You can do that. You can fix it. You can do tshuva. Tshuva, it's the most easiest mitzvah in the Torah Kedosha, and it's opening all of the doors for the Torah Kedosha. It's just a temporary world that in this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator, to remember that it's all Him, never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those husks. husks.